Yes, I'm confirming today. Well, I don't really have any way to reach him except by mail. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, it's gonna- it's- it's gonna be wonderful. I'm expecting a letter any minute now. Yes, I'll let you know. Yes, I'll let you know as soon as I get confirmation. Yes, it's going to be wonderful. Yes. Alright. Alright, you too. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Well, howdy ho, Mr. Mayor! It's me! Melvin the Marvelous Moose Mailman! Ah, oh, yes, Melvin! You haven't happened to, um, <clears throat> had a letter from, uh, from Maria's brother, have you? I can't really see I have. Hmm, well, let me check down here. Hmm. Uh, yep, yep, no, no letters here. You know, last I heard, he was talking about flying in sometime, but I really don't know when. Hmm, oh dear. Well, thank you for checking. You don't think he's coming in today, do you? Today? Why would he be coming in today? Well, it is Aaron's birthday after all. Yes, sir, he. If he's coming in anytime soon, it would be today. Well, well he, he, he can't be coming up today. No, I'm, I'm so behind. I'm nowhere near ready. The festival will be a bit disaster. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, well, there's only one thing I can do. Jane! Jane! Cancel all my appointments. We must prepare everything. The festival is happening tonight. Mail letter? Mail letter? You, you, you forgot your mail, mail letter? Oh, well. I'll just leave it here for him. Oh, my. Who knew red was this year's in color? Well, howdy ho, Elton Eagleton. You know, I come bearing outskirts mail for you. From your brother, Elliot. Oh, yas. How wonderful, Melvin. I have to see what he needs later. Do you have time for an appointment? Your, your fur is rather ugly. It looks like a rat's nest. No, uh, uh, no. I'm, I'm just in a little bit of a rush here. Um, look, between you and me, Maria's brother is coming into town tonight, and the mayor is pushing up the Penguin Heritage Festival. Is that so? I've never met Maria's brother. You know, neither have I, but I've always imagined him as a hip cool guy with a mohawk. Egad! A mohawk? Yeah! One of those big ones with those bright green tips. Oh, no, 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 no. That will never do. Red is the color for this year's hair. You don't say. He can show up to the festival like that. He'll be a laughing stock. Well, well, I don't know about that. Where are my dyes? I must prepare for his arrival. Elton? No guest of honor will arrive at the States. Not to mention if I have anything to say about it. Elton! Well, have fun, I guess. I'll be at my lighthouse if anyone needs me. Howdy ho, lighthouse keepers! It's me, Melvin the Marvelous Bruce Mailman. And I got some outskirts mail for you today. Ah, pleasure to see you, Melvin. How goes life in the mainland? A little frantic with Aaron's birthday and Maria's brother coming into town. Oh, yes. Lucy gave an invitation to that for our lost art lesson. Hmm. But what this be about Maria's brother? Well, the man found out he's coming to town today and is pushing the Penguin Heritage Festival up. Is that so? I didn't really realize that Maria had a brother. Neither did I. I wonder what he does. Well, what do you think his name is, Melvin? Well, from his letters, I thought it was Michigan Rogers. And I think he's an archaeologist. An archaeologist, you say? Hmm. You mean one of those people who dig up old things and put them in museums? I think he specifically finds old paintings. Now, this Michigan Rogers fellow sounds quite interesting. And I would love to talk to him. Of course he would, with your obsession with paint. It is not an obsession, it is my career. You can tell and call it whatever you like right now, but it's a waste of time. Someone's got to keep the lighthouse running while I'm gone. Now you listen here, you grumpy old sea captain. Well, I best be on my way. I hope I see you guys later tonight at the icicles. Good day, Melvin. Yes, and I'll see you later. Now, about this grumpy old sea captain. Hmm, fascinating. Darling, it's almost time to close up shop. Aaron's birthday is tonight, and we need to make sure we wrap his presents before we go over. Oh, yes, yes, dear. Of course, dear. Now, howdy ho, you library and all who inhabit it. I have mail for the Barringtons from Outskirts. No, yes, it is Outskirts Day today. Thank you so much, Melvin. No problem, Walt. Say, did you hear the news about the Penguin Heritage Festival? Isn't that coming up next month? Well, it was, but the mayor decided to push it up on account of Maria's brother coming in early. Maria's brother is coming to town? Yes, and Deedly Dandy. I believe he's coming in tonight for Aaron's birthday. Chase didn't mention anything to me about it. Well, I reckon they just got the news this morning. Walter, close up shop. We must go over early and help them prepare. Right you are, darling. I'll go flip the clothes sign while you wrap the presents. Of course, darling. We must hurry, though. I'm sure Chase and Maria need all the help they can get decorating. I'll meet you guys over there since I'm heading over there that way right now for my last stop. 
All right, we'll see you there, Melvin. Do you have any fours? No, go fish. This is boring. Hey, don't look at me. It was your idea to play go fish. The party's supposed to start in like 20 minutes. We didn't have time to play anything else. Hey, guys, have you seen my hockey equipment? Don't tell me that you're going to play hockey 20 minutes before your birthday party, Aaron. No, 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 I just wanted to find the stuff in case someone else wanted to play. Aaron, don't play hockey during your birthday party. It's so boring. But I love hockey, Lou. No, please, we should play princesses instead. You know, if it was your birthday, we could play princesses. But it's my birthday, so we're not doing that. We're doing what I want to do. But that's not fair. You just had a birthday last year. Well, that's kind of how birthdays work, Lou. I think... I saw your hockey equipment um, on the front porch, actually. You want to come help me look? Well, it's better than playing Go Fish. I'm going to see what Mommy is doing. All right, suit yourself. Come on, Zach. <sighs> you good, Lou? Isaac and Aaron are setting up hockey stuff and being boring. What are you doing? I'm just finishing up your brother's cake for his birthday. Why is Aaron having another birthday? He just had one. Well, sweetheart, birthdays are annual, which means they come every single year. It celebrates another year of having someone you love around. But they come around so often! It might feel that way to you, but I'm sure to Aaron it feels like forever. Birthdays come every 12 months, which makes up a year. Here, let me show you. This is the calendar for the whole year. It's separated into four seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter! Exactly! Those seasons can be subdivided into months. Each season lasts three months. So spring begins at the beginning of March and ends at the end of May. Summer begins at the beginning of June and ends at the end of August. Autumn begins at the beginning of September and ends at the end of November. And winter begins at the beginning of December and ends all the way back up here at the end of February. Hmm. So, the beginning of the year is March 1st? Not quite, sweetheart. You see, the beginning of each year starts in the middle of winter. So, on January 1st, is the beginning of the year. It's usually pretty easy to remember because we always begin the year with a celebration for the new year on the 31st, the day before the beginning of the year. So there's 31 days every month. A lot of them have 31 days, but not all of them. If we go through them in order, January has 31 days. February has 28 days, except for every fourth year when it has 29. March has 31 days. April has 30 days. May has 31 days. June has 30 days. July has 31 days. August has 31 days. September has 30 days. October has 31 days. November has 30 days, and December has 31 days. That's a lot of days to remember. How do you remember all that? There's a little poem I learned when I was young. It goes, 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, except February's 28th. The leap year, which comes once every four, gives February one day more. Oh, that makes sense, and it makes it a lot easier. So February gets one more day every four years? Mm-hmm. Every year, we get a new calendar, and it starts the year over again. All the holidays and events get put on the new calendar on the same dates as before. So Aaron's birthday will always come on this date every year, and yours will always come in September every year. Oh, that makes sense. So it'll be a whole nother year until Aaron gets to celebrate his birthday again. That's right. You want to help me finish his cake before everybody gets here? Sure thing, Mommy! You never get to play me, brother! Brilliant! The world's greatest hockey player! Isaac, you've never played hockey before, so stop swinging in the house. You cannot tell the great hockey player, Isaac Icicle, where he can and cannot play hockey! Isaac, I'm serious. Stop. Dad's gonna have a cow if you break something. He just changed you, Aaron. 
not for their brother. Hey boys, you guys ready for the party? I've been trying to party for the last five minutes, but Aaron's too much of an old buddy duddy to enjoy himself. No, it's just Isaac's just mad because he almost broke something and I told him to stop. I, Isaac, I don't think... Chase, we came as soon as we heard. Do you need any help preparing the guest room? Uncle Walter! Now there's one of my favorite penguin pals. Where is your sister? Now why would we need a guest room ready? Don't you need a place for Maria's brother to stay? What? Oh, hey, lads and ladies. We came by early to talk to Maria's brother. I'd love to hear some of his adventures. And not to mention the amazing art he must have discovered. Wait, what art? Good evening, it is I, the mayor, coming to announce that the Penguin Heritage Festival is happening tonight in honor of our esteemed guest, Maria's brother, coming early. Jonathan isn't coming to town. What? He's not? His name isn't Michigan Rogers. Are you sure? Well, Maria hasn't said anything about it. The cake's ready whenever... Oh, we have guests. Hey, Jonathan's not coming to town to write. Right, sweetheart? Of course not. He's not planning to visit until Christmas. Who said he was coming to town tonight? Melvin told us. He told us he was an arts archaeologist. And his name was Michigan Rogers. So my guest of honor for the Penguin Heritage Festival won't even be here for it. How the hell, Icicle family? It's me, Melvin the Marvelous Moose Mailman. No, oh, it looks like the whole town is here. Melvin, I am extremely disappointed in you, thanks to your gossiping. The entire Penguin Heritage Festival is off. It's ruined. No, I don't know about that. Well, what did I do? You told me months ago that Maria's brother will be coming to the town this summer, and I was so excited I threw a festival, or decided to throw a festival in his honor. But now I come to learn that he's not visiting until Christmas, Melvin. Christmas! During the holiday festival, no less. <laughs> What's the point of having a Penguin Heritage Festival without the Penguin of Honor? Now calm down, everyone. I'm sure we can sort this mix-up out. Give me a few minutes, and I'll call John. So, so he's not coming tonight? No! No, dear, I'm afraid not. His name wasn't Michigan Rogers, neither. I wonder how much of what you told us was true. Well, the, the festival's in shambles. <sighs> I have to return the penguin decor, not to mention up the tuxedos. Well, gee, uh, I'm sorry. I guess I just got a little carried away with my imagination, that's all. It's all right, Mel. We all get a little carried away sometimes with those stories. We just have to be careful not to gossip and spread rumors based on things we don't know to be 100% true. Or things we're not sure we should be sharing. Well, oh gosh, I really am sorry for causing you all this fuss. I hope you all can forgive me. Of course we can, Melvin. Sure thing. Good news, everyone. I just called Jonathan and he said he's coming up sometime in July for a week-long visit. That is stupendous news, yes! Everyone, everyone, the festival's back on and it gives me plenty of time to order more decorations. This is going to be an absolute wonderful Penguin Heritage Festival. Maria, Maria, thank you so much. You're going to absolutely love it. You're going to absolutely love this festival, Maria.